getting it into the kingdom of God. Now, and what Jesus was saying is that we have to be born again. The word born again means born from above. It means having the life of God, the life of the Holy Spirit in your heart, the life of God in your heart. That God is to, to, have the, to come into your life by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yeah? And that is the only way that you and I can get into the kingdom of God. It's the only way that you and I can know the Lord today. And it's by the Spirit of God. Not by religion. People get fixed on religion. People have religious ideas. And religion is about what you can do. It's about what you can do. But knowing God is not what you can do. It's about having a new life. It's, it's having a new life. It's like a palm tree in the desert. If that palm tree doesn't have water, it'll die. And you've got a soul. And if that soul doesn't have life of God in it, it will die. And so you've got to have the life of God in you. And that life of God is the power of the Holy Spirit. And so the Spirit of God comes in your life. The Spirit of God comes in your life. The Spirit of God comes in and it gives you new life in your soul, new life in you. And, and, and renews you within your heart, renews you so that you can experience what the Bible calls the new birth. And it's amazing. It's amazing because it sets you free. It sets you free. You, you, you're free. And, 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 it's, and it's amazing. This new life comes in you and it sets you free. So you can be free of anything that's pulling you down, free of anything that's dragging you down. You can be set free and have a new life, a new joy, a new peace in your life. And, and, and it starts by allowing God to come in your life. It starts by acknowledging that we're sinners. Acknowledging that we're sinners, my friend. That, that we all sin, that we all uh, break God's commandments. Every single one of us breaks God's commandments. The Bible says, all fall short of the glory of God. I fall short, you fall short, we all fall short of the glory of God. We all break God's commandments. But God in His love and mercy wants to rescue us. He wants to bring us home and, and bring us into that new life, that new joy, that new peace today. And it's amazing. It's, it's, it's living life. It's living joy. It's living peace. It's living hope. It'll set you free. It'll set you free and it'll give you new joy and new peace. And, and the darkness, whatever oppresses you, whatever is pulling you down, whether it be guilt or whatever it is, you'll find new life and new hope and a new vision in Jesus Christ. It's amazing. It's amazing that life that can come into you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yeah, you, you know that, but yes. don't you, yeah? But Jesus can change you from yes. within. Yes. Is that right? Too, yeah. He can change you from within and give you a new way, a new future, yes. a new life. And how does it happen? By faith, isn't it, brother? Yeah, by faith. And who's faith in who? Jesus. Faith in Jesus. Yeah. And, and Jesus can change us. Jesus can the way and the life. And does Jesus set us free? Yes. Does Jesus forgive us of our yes. sins? Yes. And so what do we have to do? To know Jesus. We have to repent, turn away yes. from that which is wrong, yes. and believe in Jesus, isn't it? And, and, and what does Jesus mean to you, brother? My God. I you want to say something on that? My word? Yeah, you said, you tell us what Jesus for me, my God and my Savior, my everything. Uh, what He done for me, nobody done. Nobody done it. He is the one who did it. He is the one who gave me life. He is the one who gave me eternal life. He is the one who gave me peace. Nobody give you peace. Many that come by peace. Many they come by good food, they don't buy good appetite. Maybe they can buy good bread, but they cannot buy your sleep. He is the one giving comfort. He say, I am the light of the world. World is in darkness. Jesus is alive. He say, I am the light of the world. If anyone believe in me, he no power. He go eternal life. Turn back, give you to life Jesus today. I really wonderful night I have with this gentleman. God bless you. What to that for us? He will pay you. Okay, thank you, God. Thank you, brother. That's wonderful, brother. Thank you. Thank you.
question, so God bless you, yeah? Jesus, Jesus can give you that new life. You've got to turn to him for that new life. You've got to realize that he's the treasure that, that can make all the difference in your life. You see, you can make you can make money your treasure. That money, making money is your treasure. Uh, you can make uh, sex your treasure. That sex is everything to you, or money is everything to you. But these are not treasures. Jesus Christ is the treasure. He's the treasure. He's the treasure, my friend. And he's the one that can give you peace. And until you treasure him, and, and, and adore him, and magnify him, and love him, and, 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 and bring glory to him, and live for him, and, and, and when you live for him, and not money, or sex, or power, or religion, but when you love Jesus, and you trust Jesus, yet the Bible says you become born again. You become born again, and, it, and it's life, it's liberty, it's power. It's wonderful, my friend. And, and, but you've got to be broken free. You've got to realize that what you're, what you're grasping for, reputation. Reputation, bro, God bless you. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Reputation is no good. Money is no good. Drugs no good. Sex no good. Jesus is good. No, drugs is no good, bro. Jesus, my friend. No, Jesus, bro. Jesus. It to be besotted with Jesus, to love Jesus, to have Him as all in your life. To, to, to glorify Jesus and to live for Jesus is better than money or power or anything the world can offer you. You might say, well, I, I, I'm from a great family, I have great money, I have a great job, I have a great reputation. You can say, I'm very moral and righteous, but if you've missed Jesus, if you don't trust Jesus, you've missed it all. You, you can have the best trainers, you can have the best computer, you can have the best car, the best house, you can have the best everything. But if you miss Jesus, you've missed it all. Because Jesus is the treasure. Jesus is the treasure. Jesus is the one to love. Jesus is the one to adore. Jesus is the one to bring glory. Jesus is the one to live for. Not for money, not for sex, not power. Not for a nice car, not for a big house. The person to love and adore and to worship is Jesus, my friend. Be besotted with Jesus, honor Jesus, put him first in your life. Bring glory to Jesus in your life. Make Jesus the center of your life. For me to live is Christ, to die is gain and it's about him. But we try to strive, we try to strive. Is it okay bro? Is it okay bro? Is it alright man? We try to strive. We try to strive. We're striving. We want people to love us. We want reputation. God bless you. We want reputation. We want to be liked. And, 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 and we strive in this world. And we're striving. And we're striving. And we're striving. But you don't have to strive anymore. You need to rest and know that Jesus loved you and died for you. And rest in Him. You don't have to try and impress people anymore. You don't have to try and be something that you're not anymore. All you've got to do is rest in Jesus. All you've got to do is be besotted with Jesus. All you've got to do is love Jesus. All you've got to do is put Jesus first and believe in Jesus. And Jesus will set you free. And Jesus will cleanse you and wash you of everything you've ever done. Does Jesus mean everything to you? Is Jesus everything to you? Is Jesus the top one in your life or is it money? Are you after money, sex, reputation? You want people to like you. You want people to pat you on the back. You want to be res respected. Who's more important, Jesus or your respect? Who's more important, your money or Jesus? Who's more important, your qualifications or Jesus? Who's more important, your house or Jesus? Who's more important, your wife or Jesus? Who's more important, your drugs or Jesus? Who's more important to you, Jesus or yourself? You gotta be besotted with Jesus. You gotta love Jesus and adore Jesus. Magnify Jesus and have faith in Jesus. And trust Jesus in your life. And love Jesus. You see, it's all about Jesus, exalting Jesus, trusting Jesus, loving Jesus, adoring Jesus. Do you love Him and adore Him today? Do you believe in Him today? Have you got faith in Jesus today? What are you striving for today? Are you striving, trying to get rid of your guilt? 
and you're drinking it away in alcohol. I'm not condemning you, but is that the way you're dealing with it? You're dealing with your guilt with drink, you're dealing with your guilt with drugs, you're dealing with your guilt with sex. What are you trying to do? You need Jesus in your life. You need Jesus at the center of your life. You need to treasure Jesus, my friend. Treasure Him above your bank balance. Treasure Him above your sex life. Treasure Him above your drugs. Treasure Him above your material advantage. Treasure Him. Treasure Jesus. Do you treasure Him? Is He the one that you treasure in your life? Who do you treasure? What is the main thing that you think about daily? What is the one thing that you think about daily? What is the one thing that you think about daily? If it's not Jesus, it's done. If it's not Jesus, it's done. You've got to think of Jesus, my friend. He's got to be the one you love and treasure and adore. Not your trainers, not your money, not sex, not drugs. But Jesus, my friend. It's got to be Jesus in your life. It's got to be Jesus. It's got to be the Lord in your life. Not money, not bling, not sex, not power, but Jesus in your life. He's got to be everything to you. He's got to be the one that you love and adore. Do you love Jesus? Or are you trying to climb up the corporate ladder? You're trying to be the boss in your work and you're trying to get to the top and you're trying to be the man, you're trying to be the woman and you're trying to get to the top of your workplace. Nah. Does Jesus matter to you? Because you can get to the top of the corporate ladder. You can be a manager and a director with 200 grand a year. But if you don't know Jesus, you've lost it, my friend. You've lost it if you've not got Jesus. He is the altogether lovely one. He is the son of God. He is the king of kings. He is the lord of lords. He is majesty and glory. He has the one to save you. He has the one to forgive you. He is the one to set you free tonight. He is the one that will set you free. He is the one that will cleanse you. He is the one that will forgive you. He is the one that will change you. Jesus, what's the one thing that you think about? What is the one thing that you think about daily? What is the one thing that you think about daily? If it's not Jesus, it's done. Whatever it is, because He has to be number one in your life. He has to be number one. Make Jesus number one in your life. Make Jesus number one in your life. Treasure Jesus above money. Treasure Jesus above sex. Treasure Jesus above power. Treasure Jesus above drugs. Treasure Jesus above anger and hatred. Treasure Jesus. Have treasure. Treasure Him. God bless you guys. Treasure Jesus. Treasure the Lord, the one who was crucified for you, the one who laid down his life, he laid down his life, the Son of God laid down his life, and then he laid down his life for everything you've ever done wrong. Do you know the Ten Commandments? Do not lie, do not steal, do not commit adultery, we break those commandments. And every commandment that you and I broke, he died on that cross for you. He died on that cross for you. He, he shed his blood on that cross for you. That is the righteousness of God. The righteousness of God is Christ who died on the cross for you. Who died on that cross for you. That is the righteousness of God. And that is the only thing that can cover you and clean you. That is the only thing that can get you right before God. Nothing can get you right before God. But only the righteousness of God in Christ. Only Christ. Only He can save. Because only He is the righteousness of God. You see, He perfectly obeyed the law. He perfectly died on the cross. He perfectly gave His life for you. And if you believe in Him, you can be right with God. And you can be clean with God. And you can be restored in God. All because of what Jesus has done. Make Jesus number one in your life. Is Jesus number one in your life?